Hey guys, happy Thursday. Today I'm going to be working on a drawing request from one of my students, Margo. Um, she asked if I could show you guys how to draw an anime boy since a few weeks ago we did an anime girl. So I picked out this drawing. I thought this one is maybe a little bit more simple than the girl drawing that I showed you a few weeks ago. So this one might actually be easier for even some of my younger grades to follow along with. But this one definitely you want to start with a pencil first and then have all of your coloring supplies so that you can color it in when you're all finished. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright you guys, so with this one I definitely recommend you start with a pencil because when you draw things like an anime character, you want to draw a lot of basic shapes first and then kind of go back and change them up as you go along. So what I'm going to start with is a oval for my um, boy's head. So I'm going to start near the top and I'm going to draw a pretty big oval like that. And I'm going to press hard at the pencil so you can see, but you guys make sure you're pressing nice and light so you can erase when you need to. Then we're going to draw a little curved line to make that kind of cheek area. So near the bottom of the oval, you're going to draw kind of a curved line like this that connects back with the bottom of the oval. That's going to look like a little cheek, so we'll leave that for now. What I'm going to work on now are the eyes, and then we'll work on the hair after that. So for this one, the eyes, we're going to draw these two slightly curved lines for the eyelid. So let's see. First, I'm going to draw this little slightly curved line down the middle. This is going to get erased later, so make sure you draw it nice and light. Then on the left side, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curved line for the eyelid on the one side. If you want to make it a little thicker and then get thinner on the end, you can. And then on the right side, I'm going to leave a little bit more space between this line and the eyelid, but on this side I'm going to go a little ways over and draw another eyelid a little thicker at the start and skinnier at the end. On this side we're going to draw an oval that's cut off on the top and it starts in the middle of the eyelid and ends right at the edge. So an oval like that. On this one, we're going to draw the oval kind of in the middle so it doesn't touch the edge on either side. Inside each one, we're going to draw a curved line in the upper left corner. That's for the shine or the reflection. And then also in each one, draw another smaller oval for the pupil of the eye. You can also make some little lines like this if you want. They kind of just make the eye look more interesting when you color it in. And then coming off of this line that separates the middle of the face, we're going to draw a little nose, kind of like a little L shape, the curve. And then I made the face like a frown, so it looks like a, like a triangle or an arrow, but you can make it a different shape if you want to. We're going to leave that like that for now. Now let's work on adding the ear and we'll work on the hair as well. So kind of below this eye on the side, we're going to make a line that curves up and down and back around for the ear. And then a smaller one inside. So we have like the edge of the ear and the inside of the ear. Now we can work on the hair, which I always love adding hair to my characters. On this character, I'm going to give him more straight hair, so it's kind of like drawing some long, slightly curved points. When you're drawing a boy character, usually you don't have the hair covering the eyes so much like you do with girl characters in anime, so I'm going to try to not cover the eye too much with this hair. I'm kind of working on some bangs first hair that's covering the face and then I'm going to start up at the top of the head and kind of have an area where the hair parts and just make a few more kind of zigzaggy bumps. So see how on this side I went this way and now I'm going to go on the other side and have hair go the other way so I have that part in the middle of my hair. So there's his hair and then for the body I did it this way. I did kind of a like a 
rectangle shape, but the sides of it are angled. That's for the shirt, at least to start for it. And then for the pants, I did two diagonal lines on each side, like that. A straight line at the bottom of each, and then two more diagonal lines that go up, and then a straight line like that. You can add two little kind of oval shapes for feet if you want to. And then to add the heart and the arms, I'm going to start by drawing the heart not in the center but close to the left side. Our boy is kind of facing a little bit this direction so we don't want everything super centered on it. My heart's going to start maybe like here and I'm going to do the first curve. It actually goes outside the body and then the other curve like that. So see it's not in the center. I'm going to draw this hand by doing a curved line and then th or four bumps for fingers. Because it's a small little person, like small body and the face is more the focus, we don't need to do the hand super detailed. Now I'm gonna make this arm. So on up here where the body is touching the head, make a curved line for your shoulder and then continue that line until you're basically right below the heart where you want the hand to be. I have my other hand be kind of in line with the first one. So I drew this line down here, and then I'm just going to have it kind of connect back up to behind the heart. And then on the other side, I'll draw another line like that. And then I just draw another hand that is a curved line and one, two, three, four fingers. The thumb, the fifth finger, the thumb would be kind of behind the heart, so that's why I'm only drawing four. Now on this side, I would recommend adding a little curved line here to kind of show the shoulder. And then you can do this shirt any way you want. I did a curved line for the neck, so mine's kind of like a sweater. And then you can add any extra details you want. I like to kind of, I made this shirt baggy by adding some bumpy lines on each side, making it a little longer actually, and then another line across like that but it's really up to you how you want to decorate it. Once you have your basic drawing down in pencil, then of course you want to trace over it with a black marker. I'm going to do that right now so you guys can see what lines are meant to be erased and which ones are meant to stay. Alright, so now I have finished tracing over all the lines I need to trace with markers, so I'm going to use my eraser to erase out the lines that I don't need. Alright, so now that I have finished erasing all my lines that I didn't need, I can go ahead and color it in. I'm going to just add some stripes to my sweater. If you want to do that, you can too. Because I made the sweater kind of lumpy, I make my stripes a little bit bumpy too so that, you know, it kind of looks like how the shirt looks. So you can add in stripes if you want, or of course you can decorate it however you want. And just have fun coloring it in. The cool thing about drawing anime characters is once you get the hang of it, you can really start designing all sorts of different characters that you want to make of your own kind of design. So that's really cool, but they do take a little time to get used to, but just have fun coloring it in guys and make it as unique as you want to make it. Alright guys, I hope you had fun drawing your anime boy with me today. I would love to see the different ways that you chose to color yours in. And also, if you want me to include any of your drawings in my video tomorrow, make sure that you send them to me by the end of today so that I can include those 
um, tomorrow when I upload it. But I uh, hope you had fun with this one, and I will see you guys tomorrow for our last video of the week. Bye!